this morning we're here at La Bodega on Southwest Boulevard in Kansas City and uh, we're making a very traditional Spanish dish today. We're here with executive chef Thomas Lake. Thanks for joining us. And what are we making today? Today we're making a paella valenciana. Very traditional, right? Very traditional. Typically like a big pizza almost. Exactly. Like a, uh, it's uh, started off in, in Valencia, which we, uh, where the name comes from. Um, it's basically a mixture of anything they can throw into it. Uh, today we have chicken, pork, little chorizo, some shrimp, some shellfish. Um, so if you like the supreme pizza, exactly. this, this is the kind this of one, pie you would go th for. This one is the works. All right, uh, let's uh, let's get started and see what it. we do here. Um, first off, we're going to start with uh, just some boneless chicken breast. Okay. So we'll come out of the bowl here. There we go. Some uh, fresh pork loin. And this is called Bilbao chorizo. It's a traditional Spanish sausage. From, from the northern part of Spain, in the Basque region. Just gonna saute this together a couple minutes. You really smell it already. Yeah. The chorizo has an excellent flavor. It's got a lot of fat into it, so it's, it gives it a lot of, uh, gives sure. a lot of flavor. Next, we throw in some uh, red bell peppers and fresh Spanish onions. And some fresh chopped garlic. And a pinch of salt and pepper. So about 30 seconds to a minute, we're gonna add in a little Albarino wine. Albarino is also a very traditional Spanish wine. A lot of sweetness to it. Perfect for a paella. At this point we're gonna add a rice. This is a Arborio rice is very similar to uh, traditional Italian risotto rice. So you have that pre-cooked? Exactly. Ours is pre-cooked. We do it with uh, Spanish onions um, and saffron. So it gets a nice earthy flavor as well as a beautiful yellow color to it. Now rice, we're going to add uh, this is a mixture of chicken stock and saffron broth. We're going to add this to our rice slowly, about one cup at a time. Throw in our green beans at the end because we don't want those to overcook. So we're going to scoop all of our goodies into the pan here. Try and leave the clams and the shrimp and the, on the top. I'm going to take my mussels. Our mussels we use are um, already a cooked product, so I'm going to throw them in there. About 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. Okay. Looks beautiful. That's our finished product here. See the nice uh, rice is nice and crusted on the top and being baked in the oven. Um, the way that we serve ours is we take a little bit of uh, some nice paprika. Now Kansas City Restaurant Week is coming up at the end of January. Of course, La Bodega is participating in that. So lunches and dinners are $15 and $30 respectively. All of the uh, proceeds from that uh, go to Harvester. Certainly a great cause. Thomas, yes. thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. The great paella, you can make it home and you can find the recipe on our website at kctv5.com.